here we go. Next one is how are we going to find out the HCF or the LCM using the factor 3 method. Okay, now this is the problem. Find the HCF or the LCM of 96 and 156. So how are we going to do this? First one, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem, how to find the HCF or the LCM using the factor 3 method. So I'll make it a little bit fast and then I will explain to you. So here we go. Here, the factor 3 method, C, for 96, you have 2 and 48. I decided to make use of 2 because it's easier and then we can break down a 96, 6 and 8 and then, I mean 48, 6 and 8 and then 6, 2 and 3 and then 8, 2 and 4 and then still 4 is not a prime number and then you have 2 and 2. So there you go, I'm highlighting all the 2's in red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 2 to the power of 5 times 3. So that's the highest, I mean, these are the prime factors of 96, okay, using the factor 3 method. The next one is, we are going to find the prime factors of 156, again, by using the factor 3 method. So here we go. Look at them. Okay, so you have 156. Again, I decided to make use of 2 which is easier for me to get the half of 156. You have 2 and 78. And then 78 again, get the half, which is 2 is one of the factors, one prime prime factor. And then 2 and 39, and 39, 3 and 13. You noticed 3 and 13 are already prime, okay? So in that, in that case, we can uh, encircle them. You have 2, 2, 3 and 13. So we have repeated 2, two times, and then you have there 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 13. So these are the prime factors of um, 156. The next thing is, how are we going to find out the highest common factor using this factor 3 method? Okay? So look at this. This is how are we going to do this. I'm listing them down now. The, the highest common, the, the prime factors of 96. Look at them. For 96, I'm bringing it down here. Look at this, 2 to the power of 5 times 3. And then for 156, these are the prime factors, 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 13. And then the highest common factor, how to find out? Observe properly. Huh? So first thing is compare. You have 2 to the power of 5 for 96 and you have 2 to the power of 2 for 156. In that case, in order to find out the highest common factor, you are just going to compare 2 and 2 is common, but check out the one with the smallest exponent. The exponent here, the smallest power here. You compare, you have 5 here for 96, for 156 you have 2. So in that case, you are going to get the smallest exponent here, which is 2. So bring it down here. See, you have here 2 to the power of 2. That is our common factor. In other words, 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. Okay? And then here, 3 and 3 is common. The same, exactly the same. With the power of 1. Okay? With the power of 1. In that case, just copy one of them. So you have here 3. So there you go. You have also 3 here. So then, what is 2 to the power of 2? That is, of course, 4 times 3. And then you have equal to 12. That is our highest common factor. Okay, now, look at this. Check them out. You have here 96, which is 12 times 8 is equal to 96. 12 times 13, 156. But of course, these are a little bit big numbers. So it's uh, basically, um, it, it's difficult for us to find out exactly right away the highest common factor or the greatest common factor. Okay, guys? Now, so look at this. This time in the other side is how to find out the least common multiple. Okay, check them out. Now, same uh, procedure, we are just going to um, make use of 
the prime factors wherein we apply the factor 3 method. So, I'm listing that them down again. So, I'm just rewriting them here. Look at them. So, nothing changed actually. Now, how to find out the least common multiple? This time around is a little bit different huh? because this is least common multiple. So, here compare again. 2 to the power of 5 and 2 to the power of 2. This time, you are going to copy the one that with the highest exponent. Okay, why? Because it's the common multiple. So, 2 to the power of 5, look at this here. And then 3 and 3, just copy 1 again. So, they are equally the same. They are the same rather, so just copy 3. And Okay, and then the rest of the factors which is not common, you are going to bring them down. You are going to copy them. You are going to list them because as one of the factors, in finding out the LCM. So here we go. This is the LCM. Okay. So how do you do that? So that is 2, of course, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then times 3 times 13. That's equal, that's equal to 1,000. 248 okay let's uh, let's try to double check look at this okay see um it's very clear 1248 divided by 96 is equal to 13 you can make use of the calculator for double checking and this 1248 divided by 156 is equal to 8 and then there is no common factor between 13 and 8 therefore this 1248 is the least common multiple okay